Hello friends, welcome to Mike's Education Financial Management Series. So in this video, I will be explaining what is event study and how to conduct an event study uh, in finance. So let's see what is event study analysis or what is event study first of all. It is an attempt to determine uh, whether a particular event in the capital market or in the life of a company has affected a company's stock market performance. So that means it is an attempt uh, to determine, to understand whether any corporate event or any macroeconomic event, for example, uh, macroeconomic events such as uh, uh, war or any policy changes by the government or rate changes by the central banks, such macroeconomic events, uh, whether they uh, have an impact on the stock market performance of a company or any corporate event like mergers and acquisitions announcements, dividend announcements, stock split announcements. So all these events uh, which, is, which are particular to a particular company uh, has affected the company's stock market performance. So we are analyzing that particular event's impact on the stock market performance of the company's stock prices. And it aims to determine whether an event or announcement caused an abnormal moment in the stock prices because of this event is there any abnormal movement in other words it measures the impact on the overall valuation of the company valuation means the market capitalization market value of the company has impacted because of this because market value is purely dependent on the stock prices and if the stock prices increases or decreases the market value or the market capitalization of the company varies so is there any impact on the valuation of the company because of these announcements of the announcements of the news news or the events so we are examining this uh, uh, impact of these news or impact impact of these uh, events on the overall market value of the company so that is what the in, in simple words the event study is or event analysis uh, is so to understand any event uh, impact of any event we will be uh, categorizing uh, the time is very important so we are c categorizing the time into different uh, different uh, windows uh, we call it as timeline of the event study you can see in this image uh, timeline from t0 to t3 uh, so that is the entire uh, life of an event uh, uh, event or event study so here t0 to t1 is the estimation period which is uh, which is the time before the before a particular event prior to a particular event and then time 1 to time 2 or t1 to t2 is the event window where the event particular event also included in that time period for example the zero in the image you can observe zero is the actual event day so t1 to t0 is the pre-event period and zero to t2 is the post event period so that t1 to t0 can be uh, some five to ten days prior to the event and zero to t2 maybe again five to ten days post the post of the event or after the event and the zero is the actual event day and then the time interval t2 to t3 is the post event window we normally do not consider this for us important is t0 to t2 in that t1 to t2 is the event window t0 to t1 is the estimation period so estimation period is to understand what was the normal behavior before this particular event and uh, t1 to t2 is the whether that particular news impacted on the stock prices and uh, uh, prior the prior to the event whether there is there was any uh, leakage of the news and uh, post event whether the, that event has impacted only after the 
event so this is about the timeline of the event study so we should uh, define the time style uh, timeline properly so what are the steps to conduct event study analysis we have to follow these simple six steps so define the event first and then define the event window collect the data estimate the expected return what is the average return or expected return uh, from the market and then calculate the abnormal return what is the deviation from expected to actual return so that is the abnormal return and test for the statistical significance so if you follow this simple six steps uh, event study is done so in this the fourth step step number 4 expected return calculation of expected return follows uh, a regression model uh, there are many models but uh, uh, normally our, our regression model is popularly used uh, the regression model is also called as market model where the rit is the dependent variable and rmt is the independent variable where uh the rit is the stocks return a company's particular uh, no particular company's return and uh, rmt is the market return the stock market stock market how we understand the mom moment in the stock market uh, for that we follow certain indices for example bsc sensex nifty or so many other indices so we follow those and we use them as a proxy for the market moment so we collect the company stock prices and the index numbers and we calculate the returns what is the growth or uh, returns over the period and that we regress and uh, so that we estimate uh, or we ex we get uh, the 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 coefficients alpha i a uh, constant and the beta i a uh, slope so using those alpha and betas we estimate the expected return expected return from the market so with this introduction let's uh, conduct uh, an event study uh, event study analysis for a, for a particular company so this for this video purpose i will be using the event of uh, a union budget announcement normally th that is a recent event happened in the market uh, normally in india uh, sorry on february 1st uh, Uh, the union finance minister will be announcing or uh, reading the union budget in the uh, parliament however this time this is not the full term budget this is the uh, not the full fledged budget this is a interim budget so there will not be any major announcements major policy changes in this interim budgets however normally uh, some some events some announcements will be on infrastructure development uh, construction of roads construction of uh, buildings bridges all those things are normally there so i will be taking this as an event union budget announcement and uh, the company i am going to consider is one of the major uh, cement manufacturer of india that is acc limited so the company is acc and the event is uh, uh, union budget announcement and the event day is normally uh, union budget announcement day that is on february 1st so let us uh, follow the steps which i have mentioned here first of all define the event so i already defined the event Def event is the union budget announcement and the event window let's take uh, let's first download the data and then see how we can define the event event window so let's collect the data first so let us let me take you to bsc website bombay stock exchange bsc website there you can collect the data so this is bombay stock exchange so website this is the home page of the website so you can get the stock prices Uh, historical stock prices you have to come to the bottom of this home page and then here you can see the second list of items where historical data is there and then so this is equity indices public issues listing equity derivatives currency derivatives so let us uh, collect uh, his equity historical data of equity equity e 
so second item second list of items historical stock prices and then here you have to specify the range of the date date ranges for example first of all you have to mention the company name so you just type acc and uh, i'm going to collect the daily data for the last uh, one year so from 2023 maybe feb 1st uh, I, i may not require all of them but uh, for time being i'm collecting it 2023 feb 1st to uh, most recent data so i'll be collecting up to 8th of feb 24 so one year approximately so then submit so now these are the share prices which you can download by clicking here and uh, i will be i'll be saving this similarly we need uh, one more set of data now let's go back uh, we need the market data so this is the company's data which i downloaded now i need the market data to calculate market returns so i have to click on indices and then indices historical prices so now we have to select the index here so let us select one index so a larger index so that is bsc snp bsc 500 uh, daily date range is same again feb 1st to uh, 8th of feb 2024 and then submit and again download it by clicking here download option and then save it i am not changing the names as now as of now i'll be i'll be copying my data we require data to another file so i'm not saving uh, i'm not giving any name for the names for this now let's open these files so one file i opened let me open another file also okay now this is uh, this is the company data company share price and uh, this is the market data i mean the index data so both of these data uh, i will be copying to a new file uh, not all only two columns from each for example first of all from the market data from the company data i will be copying this uh, date column and the close price column close price column is here so two columns i selected now i will open a new excel file by pressing control n and then i'll be pasting somewhere here in uh, i'll copy this and then i'll paste it here and i'll change this into acc so that i'll be i, I can easily and uh, no recognize and then i'll be copying the index data so this is the index data index data is having only four columns close as well as date column i'll be copying and then i'll paste it here now you see this is in a newest to oldest format and this is in oldest to newest format right so you can see the dates so let us compare let us make them similar both of them so i will be changing the company data into oldest to newest so, so select those two columns and then sort come to sort and filter and convert this into oldest to newest now you can see oldest to newest now let us see whether both the dates are same date columns are same or is there any mismatch so it looks like uh, both are same so still you have to check it so you have to make another column difference column where you deduct the first date from the second date so if the answer is zero both the dates are same now let us do it for all the remaining days and if you see any other number than zero then there is a mismatch in the dates otherwise if both are correct i am mean if the answer is zero everywhere then the dates are matched both the dates are same so let me now delete this column again now you don't have to have both the date columns you can delete one of the date columns so let me delete this 
date column uh, you have to rename this the index name as bsc 500 otherwise uh, it's difficult to recognize now let us calculate uh, ri and rm ri and rm because this is uh, ri is the stock return that is a dependent variable in our in our regression and this is the rm independent variable in the regression so how to calculate ri ri is equal to ln a natural log of uh, today's price divided by yesterday's price so this is the ri uh, ln of today's price minus uh, today's price divided by uh, yesterday's price similarly rm is nothing but ln of today's price divided by yesterday's price and then enter so that will give you the rm okay now you extend these two formulas to the remaining days and uh, now you don't have to depend on this you have to you, we are using these values for our further calculations so now let us uh, remove the formula whatever whatever i have put the formula i need only numbers numbers so select the data copy and paste on the paste on the same data so that the formula will be removed and only the numbers will be kept okay now you can delete these stock prices also stock and index numbers i need only the only the returns and also you have to delete that empty cells so that uh, otherwise the regression results will not be uh, will not show that will show error so we have to remove all the empty cells so now the regression uh, data for regression is ready so data is ready first step is over okay uh, second step is over i mean the collecting data now let us define the event so as i said event is uh, event is feb 1st feb 1st is the event day so let us uh, highlight with some color so this is the event and uh, some three days post the event is the post event window and some five days prior to the event that is the pre event window so together this is the event window so i have five plus three plus one that means total nine days of event window and from here onwards back uh, I'll go back uh, in the timeline so some hundred days hundred days I will consider as a estimation period hundred days so 30th of August 2023 so let me highlight with some other color so this is my estimation period or estimation window so remaining data you can delete because we are not going to use this so 100 days why I have used uh, there is no any hard and fast rule uh, so normally 252 days are considered are ideal T considering all the data i am considering only the 100 days event uh, sorry estimation period so now this is the event window uh, event window and estimation period everything is done now estimation of expected return and the remaining calculation i will be doing in the second part of this video kindly watch that video also so thank you for watching this video